what is life, this particular thing we got going on here, this pocket of complexity that emerged from such simple things? Yeah, it's a tough question. I asked that question even to uh, Richard Dawkins once, and I already have my preconceived notion, which he pretty much confirmed, which is, if one could give an answer to that question that allowed you to sort of draw a line in the sand between the not living and the living, then perhaps we would have the insight that we yearn for in trying to say what is so special about life. But the fact of the matter is, it's a continuum. There's a continuum from the things that we would typically call non-living and animate to the things that we obviously call animate and full of the currents of life. Somewhere in there, it is a question of the complexity of the structure, the ability of the structure to take in raw material from the environment and process it through a metabolism that allows the structure to extract energy and to release entropy to the wider environment. Somewhere in those collections of biological processes is the necessity or the necessary ingredients and processes for life. But drawing that line in the sand is not something that we're able to do. But I would agree with you. It's deeply peculiar. It may, in fact, be unique, but it may not. It could be that the universe is such that under fairly typical conditions, a star that's a well-ordered source of low entropy energy, that's what the sun is, together with a planet being bathed by that low entropy energy, together with a surface that has enough of the raw constituents that we recognize are fairly commonplace result of supernova explosions where star spews forth the result of the nuclear furnace that is the core of a star. It could be that all you need are those fairly commonplace conditions and maybe life naturally forms. Look, the James Webb Space Telescope, right, is going up hopefully in December. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the goals of that mission is to look at atmospheres around distant planets and perhaps come to some sense of how special or not life or life as we know it is in the universe.